What's going on, New Game in Order? So we're here with another topic today here. I, I wanted to get this out of here about um, about uh, Sony admitting, the president of Sony America, uh, Andrew House, uh, saying that, you know, basically admitting um, that, uh, you know, that they're a little, sc- oh, his, his word was, was it scarce or so scarce or whatever? Yeah, sparse. Hmm? Uh, sparse. There you go. There you go. I knew I was in the right direction there. <laughs> but he did it. He, 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 he admitted that, you know, the, the, the lineup for, uh, you know, the, the first party is, is lacking in 2015. Um, and I wanted to touch up on that because a lot of people made it a big deal and I kind of, I didn't understand why. Um, I mean, because I think this is what, what we got going on in this generation and you guys can, you know, you know, agree or disagree if you want. But with this, with this generation is kind of like the total opposite of last generation. When we had Xbox, you know, not so much with the first party games, but they had a, that all that third party support. You mm-hmm. know, you had all that Call of Duty support. You had all this extra DLC coming uh, to mm-hmm. Microsoft. And it's kind of like the flip side on this. And I, and I honestly think that that's why the PlayStation is doing so well is because they have all that third party support. When you look at like- And that, exclusives. Like, we just, ex- and, and, and exclusives. And, and a lot of the exclusives that they're talking about that that the PlayStation doesn't have, they already came out toward the beginning of the year. You know, you had Bloodborne, you had Order, uh, you had a couple games that, that came out just earlier in the year. The holiday is what they're talking about. It's kind of, you know, kind of lacking. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, what I, what I don't understand is that, well, what I do understand, I just want to get you guys' opinion is, you know, with the PlayStation selling so well, and you know, do they need first-party support? Really, uh, they, they apparently really don't need it with all this good third-party support. What do you guys think? I wanted to jump in um, with this. Sony, it, it, it's like, yeah, why work? It, it work smarter, not harder. Right. You know, like they got rid of so many divisions within Sony. They freed up a lot of financial assets to do certain things like for instance i'll bring up an example which is was going to be a psa but i want to bring it out here you know the whole thing with the dark knight um Ar- arkham knight with the mm-hmm. dlc that's going to be available it's first on the playstation 4 right. and then mm-hmm. pc and xbox one in the fall you know what i mean that stuff right there is like okay well an incentive uh, uh, like yeah it's you an know. incentive but the thing is it's like where is the new god of war where is you know right, uh, an right. scea or santa right. monica studios game you know what i mean and, they're doing and, something and, they gotta and, be right and, well yeah but you see even though sony is outselling microsoft right now it, it, but you can't deny that there's some good first party support because as much as people don't like Rise Son of Rome, or it was, it, I mean, it was more of like a graphical game, but hell, that did sell some consoles. It did right. sell some consoles because that game looked like a damn movie. You know what I mean? It was like, um, like the order seemed it, like a response to Rise. You know what I'm saying? Right. But in, in terms of that, Microsoft was really like with Quantum Break getting delayed, you got some really big killer app first party stuff coming to the, to the Xbox oh yeah ones. oh yeah and and, and that and that's that's kind of what i was getting that what i was trying to say earlier with the fanboyism like i i like i said before in the in, in the intermission like or i don't know if i said this on the last topic or what but i prefer my playstation but i'll be damned if i miss out on halo and gears of war and all that shit just because i like playstation you know what i mean it doesn't make sense to you all i would be doing is cheat myself so mm-hmm. we all know, we all know that Xbox got the games this this holiday season, mm-hmm. but to to make a big deal out of PlayStation not having you know games this holiday season, it's a little a little too much. When because this is what I think about, mm-hmm. I think about like like I play a lot of Destiny. I think about a lot of the Destiny stuff that that PlayStation got, but PlayStation pretty much made that a, a, like a, a game. You would think that you know the average Joe didn't even know that Destiny came out on Xbox. That's how much PlayStation was pushing it. Because initially but, you know, it was gonna be a PlayStation exclusive, and Microsoft's like f that, and they fought yeah. and, and they got it. But so. I mean, and, and and not even that, not even just Destiny. Like what we just said with Arkham Knight having exclusive DLC for them. You know, with yeah, you know, mm-hmm. I think Far Cry had some some exclusive stuff. Watch Dogs had some exclusive stuff. From what I'm understanding, people are saying that the new Call of Duty. They're playing it. They they've been showcasing it on PlayStation. Can you imagine what that mm. would do if if they started if they made 
Call of Duty a PlayStation franchise, like giving them the map packs before Xbox, like they were doing with Xbox before. Like, yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's the type of support that that's the type of thing that that Sony's doing right now. That Money I talks, think that's man. It, yeah, that I think that's keeping them in that lead. Mm -hmm. So with them not having a lot of first party games, it's not it's not really hurting them too much because their third party support has been Is so strong. strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I mean, all I can say is Sony has a good strategy. Like, hey, they, they know where to put their financial influence, so to speak, and it's working out for them, you know? So, I mean, if anybody else wants to jump in, like, on a knees, Shinwar, I mean, what are your thoughts? Uh, no comment. Ew. Takuma? Uh, the fanboys. Y'all kill me with this crap, but... Hey, teach is on. That's all I gotta say. Okay, but it's it's bigger than the fanboys. The topic at hand is, you know, with, you know, uh, like Khalifa was saying, it's you know. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Alex. Well, Alex. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's okay. Mic okay. Yeah. I thought your mic was muted. Oh no no no! It's still good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Nelson, you can jump in. I said my piece. Um, first party games. Hmm. Sony is notorious for doing this. Like, I don't know if you guys remember at all. It's like every time when the console comes out, they release their first party titles. It's not always as good. And then usually the third party developers come in and they usually oversaturate the consoles with like Call of Duty, Madden, and all this other types of shit. And then they take the time with their first party games and they try to make it as solid as possible, but. Again, we're still in the fucked up age of where they rush the fucking game and then patch it later, so... <laughs> I mean, right now, Sony is doing a lot of sales because of my name alone. And that's what's getting them as far as it is, because with the, the price cut from day one, compared to Microsoft's console, the brand itself, and the fact that you had an entire country to buy your fucking product, and then when Microsoft came out all the way out there, and even to China, their first shipment has yet to get sold out. Oh, the, the Sony? So, the Sony one? No, 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 the Xbox, the Xbox Microsoft, ones. yeah. Wait, wait, in Japan or China? In, in both. China. Both. No, oh, I both? thought they did well oh, in shit. China. I thought they did well in China. They had moved like 17k units out yeah, there. Yeah, because they, they were the first to actually start selling in that territory. Right, it moved 17k units, but they're still on that 17k unit shipment. It hasn't been all purchased. It's still mm -hmm. there. How long ago was that? Ah, wow. That was like, what, almost last year almost? Yeah, right. oh, that's abysmal. Yeah. So, but then, and, so I mean, it's a different listen, market, you know? So does does anybody have a clue on why that PlayStation, because this is the thing with, with, with PlayStation that I'm not understanding, is with them not having those blockbuster hits like why are why is it selling so well you think it is just because it's sony because i i have a hard time believing that it's just because it's sony i think it's got to be something well, right it, like, you know what it is i i, I can i can explain it it was the how microsoft came out of the gates with the xbox one yeah and that's definitely impressed. that's definitely my reason that was my reason for buying because honestly before, you know like xbox. as far as specs the PlayStation 4 is slightly more powerful, but not by much. Yeah, not I don't think that much. was it. I don't care what any of these folks say. You can go get the fact sheets. Yes, it has a DDR5 and a slightly better processor, but now they're narrowing the gap. And and go and look at reputable YouTubers like Angry Joe, Alpha Mega Sin, um, Review Tech. They're saying the same thing. It's not that much stronger. And you get to a point where it, it's just blind fanboyism where it's just like, oh, by name alone, you know? And and being that, uh, you know, Sony has such a commanding lead, you know, developers are going to go to, they're going to put incentives. They're going to do specific DLC because they that know that's guaranteed money because the user base is already there. But this you that's know? that's what's confusing me. That's what's really confusing me because they both started. They were they they came out within a month of each other. So mm -hmm. it wasn't like it wasn't like PS4 had this big jump on Xbox. 
they started they at the in virtually the same time. Well, and that's so the first when, time. When, that was kind of yeah, the first yeah. time. So and so so, w- they, so there wasn't any any third party support bias or anything at that time when the fir- when they first launched. So I mean, for me, I can only speak for myself. When they I, I last gen, I, I you know I was you know all 360. I had my PS3, but I bought it. Well, I had PS3 first, and I got the 360 later, but. I end up playing my my 360 much more because of the the multi plats were better. Every you know, I, and I had more of my friends on 360. But mm-hmm. when when Microsoft came with that bullshit at E3, um, it I went right ahead and I was like, I'm getting PS4 first. I got mm-hmm. I got my Xbox One soon after that. You know that February after. But mm-hmm. I mean, you know, there, the games aren't really there for for PS4. That's what a lot of people are saying that the games aren't really there. But mm-hmm. I think that for me, like I said, it was that that messaging that Xbox, you know, what Microsoft put out there, and mm-hmm. I think the that, that third, yeah, and I think that third party support is really is what's really carrying them throughout this whole thing. I mean, it could, but it's still early in the console, you know, race, so things may change. You know, it, 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 it might change, but the thing is, what I think is, um, if you compare from the previous gen consoles, right, the 360 and the PlayStation Three. The 360 was doing way better in sales at the time because they was always quick to be like, oh, this is exclusive. This is this. You get a this exclusive right. DLC and whatnot. A lot of games played better too. Like Madden played at 60 versus 30 frames right. on yeah, PS3. Yeah, the Bayonetta. Yeah. Right. And, you know, all that shit. And I was like, damn, like, why, you know, and I bought all my multi on 360 and, of course, kept my, my you know, my exclusives for, for, the- for PS3. But it seemed like all, all that flipped. That whole thing flipped this game. Yeah, that's that's what I was about to say. Like now, Sony is on the initiative of getting all the exclusives and all the DLC. I mean, like, look at it this way, okay? Killer Instinct was the very first fighting game on the Xbox One, and so far, it's still one of the only few besides Mortal Kombat X. There's and really Dead no other, and Dead or Alive. There's really no other fighter, but yet Sony has a shit ton of fucking fighters on the way. Mm-hmm. And they they snatch all that as like only exclusive on Sony like Blaze Blue, Sony now. Um, what's the you Neil really? uh, under night and Bo- uh, under night and birth Sony exclusive? Wait 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 wait. Blaze Blue is is Sony exclusive now? It's been Sony exclusive since Chrono Fantasma for the PlayStation Three. Mm. Oh, I'll just leave that alone, man. Remember, we had this conversation about the um, oh, why they couldn't put it on the disc because of the downloadable size and stuff like that. Yeah. But Remember? now there's no excuse. No, Not now, true. now there isn't. But back then, Microsoft was already had it in their head that it's like, all right, you know what? We don't give a shit. We'll find a way to get other games. It's okay. That's the same thing what they did when they turned yeah, away but they Street got, Fighter. They gotta, yeah, they got to stop with this. Um, easily being defeated like you know what i mean because i felt let down that they didn't fight hard enough but for certain games but microsoft so. doesn't care because it will still make its money through other means that's that's mm-hmm. what microsoft is trying to prove to you they don't need every game that sony needs or vice versa they can still meet their ends me quota but by, by the uh, uh fiasco year it, mm. they're, they're fine they got fucking windows they got pcs now integration with the consoles Microsoft has nothing to worry about. Same thing with Sony. Sony is all uh, coming out with the Xperia phones, Sony Ericsson phones, the TVs. Like they're all the dabbed into something. Yeah, yeah you know. Mm. So, but getting back on topic, Sony just basically did the flip. They're taking the initiative and they're being smart about it. I was like, okay, uh, Microsoft is getting you know Batman Arkham Knight. We're getting it, but we're giving you exclusive only on this console. Microsoft. All right, not they got a. They got a, a exclusive console too, like a silvery. It's yep. just kind of ugly. A, a silver, me, a silver, like kind of grayish uh, console with the Batman same thing with Metal Gear. Metal yep. Gear is getting a, a exclusive, and they and they came out and Konami straight came out and said that because they because the, it did so well on the PlayStation platform, you know that you know they they're gonna do more stuff for PlayStation. So, but I mean, I mean Metal Gear was uh, like Sony just had it. In their in their pocket, you know, what I mean, of course it's gonna do well on on the PlayStation system if it it was the only one that was available on for so long. Yeah, until right. they came out with the uh, the HD collection, which kind of came out right. late. But uh, again, Sony is just winning because of the fact they took the initiative because of the whole DRM issue, and also and they were gonna do it too. I right, saw how but, bad Microsoft. Did. Right, but it's also the the fact that you had a lot of consumers, and like I said, this is I would say a handful. I can't give you an estimate or a number, 
but a lot of people going in buying a PlayStation 4 didn't read about it they didn't watch E3 it was like oh PlayStation 3 network was free might as well get a PS4 and it will still be free when they bought the console it was like shit I gotta put up 65 dollars now I I have a hard time believing that people were that ignorant you know if if you were early adopters I'm telling you I'm telling you if you ever worked in customer service you'd be surprised how fucking ignorant people are to the services they purchase yep you'd be Mm -hmm. very just just alone like I could give you an example my friend uh uh, not, not Michael Hurdle. I will put like that. Not Michael Hurdle, but I have another fr- uh, friend named Michael. He is a Sony fanboy, right? So he <sighs> says that he has the PlayStation 3. He knew about like the free thing because he purchased it and he found out. When the PlayStation 4 came out, didn't read anything on E3, didn't go on the website, doesn't care. He just went to GameStop. Oh, let me get the P4. He bought it. He was like, oh shit, I got to pay for internet now. <laughs> Really? I, I just want to get Dumbass. that boy Mayweather picture that Shinwar be sending me while I'm at work. They say, hi. So people are Man. really that Stupid. dumb, yo. I'm telling you. Yeah. People are fucking dumb. Shame on them. And that, I mean, like that's I said, the majority man. I... Of, uh, and that's the majority of Sony's consumers. It's just those, those regular people casually that either eat up the sports games or the shooters. That's it. And that's my thing, like with with like with the shooters and the sports games, uh, Madden Madden is is always huh? promoted on Xbox. Call of Duty is always promoted on Xbox. So I'm that's why it confuses me on what exactly people you know, why are they selling so well, even without that first party support that they're saying that they don't have and, and we already see that they don't have right so, now so I mean, I mean it's since you primarily play on playstation 4 like you would have a better insight on like i guess that fan base because right. we, we can't tell you like i have a playstation 4 but i i mainly game on the xbox um, if i'm playing guilty gear xr that's the only time i i, I fire that thing up you know right. so it's just i i don't understand their mindset but at the well, end of I the could... game we're all gamers you know what i mean it's yeah. just yeah, like like I said, like for me personally, the Xbox fucked it up for for me. I mean, what Microsoft fucked it up for me when they when they came with how they did on E3. That that yeah. already shot me down. Like, oh damn! Like I I knew I was gonna get an Xbox. I got like I said, I got it. I got the Xbox One in the February after it came out. So I, I didn't wait very long to get it. I knew I was gonna get it already. But mm-hmm. the thing is. Well, what I, I know why I play my my, my PlayStation because of because of the third party support. Like the mm-hmm. games, some of the most of the games play better. The support, as far as like my favorite games that I play with Destiny and stuff, have a lot of exclusive to PlayStation. So why buy it on Xbox One? But like mm-hmm. I said, you know, from the from the get go, as far as like the whole fanboyism thing, I prefer my PlayStation right now. But I'm not gonna let that stand in the way of me playing, you know, Gears of War and and Halo Five and and all that good stuff and you know what? Tomb Raider but and that you know, makes like, you I'm a gamer that, Khalif, that, gamer, that, that a what boy. you just said what you just said and even I have recently learned from from that because it's just the blind annoying fanboy that make me not want to support that system I ignore them and I've become like you like I'll enjoy it where I can get it you know right. what I mean I mean like with the sales and whatnot, I think it's just the name alone you know, Nintendo was even blessed with this. You know, with the, the with the Wii, like it was like, oh, it's Nintendo. They got that cool thing. It's something that they did, and, and it just comes with the time. You know, Nintendo was was reigning supreme for a minute. You know, and then Microsoft did with the 360, and then now the PS4. You know, I think it's just in cycles. It's just like the NFL. You know, not one team stays on top forever. So, what does the no funneling have to do with this? What's that? <laughs> what does the no fun league have to do with this? No fun league. Uh, I have said my piece. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my hey, Are we on PSAs or are we on a, another topic? We're still on a topic. All right, I'm going to sign off. Um, I'm shot. I'm tired. Um, I'm just going to say my two cents. It's like two hours going on three hours right now. I'm shot and I got to get up in the morning. So, uh... Good stuff, guys. Keep it going. I will definitely catch the archives and the YouTubes. Catch you guys later. All right. Okay. All right. So, with that being said, is there any anything else that wants to be contributed onto this topic, or? No. Yeah, I, I said my piece. I, I'm, I'm I said my piece. 
on your knees? No, I got nothing. Okay. Uh, Khalif, you anything else? Nah, man, that's it. I just wanted to know what y'all thought about it. Okay, cool, cool. So, all right, guys, we're going to be ending <laughs> this topic because, again, Shinmore did make a good, valid point. This is probably one of the longest that we've actually been on, and it's been... This is the second time this has happened to us. We've been on for almost two hours and onward. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, we're going to end this topic. Don't forget to rate, like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch as we do these things live every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific time for you guys out there in the West. Um, we're going to go into a slight topic and PSAs. This will be the final. Then after that, we're going to get off and I'll probably stream Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. So, oh, yes. Good, good game. Uh, let me get into that now. And I think that was one of the best in the series. Short intermission time now.